Hey YouTube, it's Lauren Losing. Um, you probably already know by the title of this video that it was a really great week for me, but, sorry, give me one second. Alright, um, this is the third time I've tried to make this video. The first time is that it didn't have enough memory, so I'm going to try to make it shorter. I also went through and deleted some things. Uh, second time, uh, someone called me, um, so hopefully no one calls me, hopefully this is short enough, and um, so we'll just get to the numbers, I guess. Um, I had a great week overall, this was just part of it. So, um, my high weight was 269 pounds, um, when I started my pre-op diet I was 256 pounds, on the day of surgery, I was 245.5 pounds. Last week, I was 203.5. And this week, I was 197 motherfucking pounds. Woo! Sorry, so excited. That's my happy dance. Actually, I have a different happy dance. I can't, I can't do it right now. Maybe I'll do it a little later because I'm going to try to put a body shot in here. I'm not someone who does body shots all the time, but um, I've never done one, so I'll throw it in. Um, so that is six and a half pounds for the week, 48.5 since surgery, and 72 total. I have not been this weight since about 2000... Oh, wow. that's 23, so 2008, um, around the time of my best friend's wedding. I, at her wedding, I was definitely less than this, but it was around, it was, you know, before. Um, so, it's been, like, five and a half years, so that's really exciting. Um, what I did differently this week? Nothing. I know I said last week that I wasn't taking this shit laying down and I was going to swim at a new gym, which I still plan on doing. Um, I also mentioned in that video that I did not have appropriate bathing suits to do lap swimming. I ordered a couple online that should be coming in this week. So I didn't want to sign up for the gym and end up paying an extra two weeks and not being able to go. So as soon as my bathing suits come in, I will be going to the gym. Um, I was not expecting that number on the scale. Um, I know I said last week that, you know, fingers crossed that I'll be in Wonderland, um, but I wasn't too confident about it. I really wasn't. Um, I was thinking maybe 201. Um, if I was in Wonderland, I was thinking 199.5, which I still would have been happy with, but, um, yeah, when I when I went up to got up and went to step on the scale this morning, I was mentally preparing myself. I was like, it's gonna be about two oh one and that is going to be okay. Um so when I actually did step on the scale, uh I looked down, I literally screamed out, Holy shit and then I had to step off and step back on about four more times. Um the only other thing differently that I did this week, um, but it's only been the past two days, is I started supplementing my fiber because I am not great about getting in my fruits and vegetables. Everybody knows that you don't get fiber from protein, and I've been mainly focusing on my protein lately. I need to get back into um, eating some more fruits and vegetables. Um, so I bought the Benefiber, um, like white powder that you can mix into anything that doesn't flavor it, it doesn't make it chunky, um, but you can also bake with it. I made a version of Shelly's Ricotta Bake this week that had, um, ground turkey in it, and it was delicious. Um, I had my whole family try it, and they all loved it, so I think I'm going to be posting the recipe on Facebook this week. Um, because I didn't just add the ground turkey, I kind of played with a few of her ingredients too. Just, uh, not so much the ingredients, but the amounts. Um, so, 
I didn't put the fiber into that. I meant to. It will add some calories when I do, but it, they're all from fiber, so I'm totally okay with that. Um, but the other thing I bought was this Fiber Advanced Gummies. The only reason it says weight management on it is because it has 200 micrograms of chromium in it. Um, it you know how like raspberry ketones and green tea extract are kind of like the craze now to help with weight management or losing weight? Well, a few years ago it was chromium. Um, of course I bought into it. I bought my chromium. I took my chromium. It didn't do shit. So, the only reason I got these, these are also no sugar added like the other um, flavors. I just liked these flavors better. There's strawberry, cran raspberry, and blueberry. The other ones had like five or six different flavors and it was like apple and orange. I just didn't like the sound of it. Um, so, for two gummies, it's four grams of fiber and 15 calories. Um, you're not supposed to exceed four gummies per day. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but I take four gummies per day. Um, I also went to Trader Joe's and Walmart and did uh, got some pretty cool stuff there. So I think I'll be doing a separate video, maybe tomorrow, on my food haul. Although a lot of it, I got it because I saw it on other people's videos, um, like K-Star or Sandra's VSG, um, or even online on Facebook, so, but I'll still put mine on there anyway, just in case you don't follow those people or you haven't seen those videos. Um, so, NSVs this week. I had a lot of clothing-related NSVs. Um, I posted this on Facebook. I'm sorry if I keep referring to Facebook. If you guys go search Lauren Dayton, I hope you know how to spell Lauren because it's right under there. <laughs> but my last name is D-A-Y-T-O-N. You should be able to find me um, and friend me on Facebook. But I posted a picture of myself in a shirt that was, it's woven, it's non-stretchy, it's a button-up. Um, and... You know, I haven't been having a great time with the scale for the past couple weeks, so I said the scale might not be my best friend, but when I bought this shirt a month ago, the buttons were pulling. And when I say pulling, I mean like, like let me out! Don't do this to me, you're hurting me! Um, and they didn't just close, it fit correctly, um, so that was great. Um... So in those, and that happened like three more times last week. So in those kind of shirts, the woven stuff, mostly, well, the mo mostly the reason is because I have a large chest and then my arms um, is definitely one of my biggest problem areas. My arms will prevent me from wearing um, a, a smaller size if it is not stretchy, uh, which is really annoying, but that's okay. Um, so... Yeah, so I had several of those last week. Um, so I am still mostly an extra large in those, but I have been wearing a large in pretty much everything else, which is also really exciting. The sweater that I have on, I bought this week at TJ Maxx, and it is a large. Um, I actually had brought, I was with my mother, and I had actually brought over the extra large, and she was like, Lauren... I really think that's too big for you. And I was like, yeah, but I was thinking that I could wear it oversized, and then even as I shrink, I could be oversized, and she's like, go look at the large. So I brought it over, and I was like, there actually was a big size, this I can't stand either, There's, there was a big size difference between the extra large and the large, so that's where I was struggling a little bit. And she was like, you know what, like, the large will fit you fine now, and then if you do want to wear it oversized down the line, then you'll be fine, so... This is large, and the brand is called Shrinking Violet, which I just found very appropriate. I'm a shrinking, delicate little flower. <laughs> uh, yeah, shrinking, yes, delicate, no. Um, so, yeah. The only thing is, so, because I fit into those, you know, non-stretch woven button-ups, I decided to try all my non-stretch stretch woven button-ups on, which, um, you know, a good amount of them fit me. One was actually a little too big, 
which I never ended up wearing. This is why you buy cheap clothes, people. It's from Dots. They still have it. It's actually on sale right now, so I'm just going to go buy the large. I can wear this shirt, but I'll probably be able to wear it for, I don't know, a couple weeks before it starts to look kind of sloppy. Um, so, and then there was another one that was probably like this far apart, so it should I should be able to wear it in like a month. But then this other one, I understand that like junior size extra large is, is a smaller than a Mrs. or like a woman's extra large. I understand that, but I just wish that there could be a standard size everywhere so that if you want to order something online or not try it on or whatever, you can just be like, I am an extra large. Because I, I mean, the shirt is gorgeous, but I'm sorry, I keep looking over there because it's in my closet. Um, but I tried it on just uh, to be curious, and it is an extra large, and it was about this far, and I'm not exaggerating, this far from closing. Um, I'm probably going to have to be a size medium before I can wear that extra large shirt. Um, which is okay, it's not going to make me depressed that I'm wearing a size extra large when I'm a medium because I know that it's just ridiculously small. Um, but, you know, it's just, uh that's my little clothing rant. Um, it's already at 11 minutes. Um, oh, so my sister had her baby on Monday. Super exciting. Um, I was able to be in the room. I didn't think I was going to uh, be able to be because she's having a C-section and her husband was with her. Um, but the anesthesiologist was okay with it, so I was able to be in the room. Um, so his name is... Gavin William, and he is a little turkey. He is nine pounds, four ounces. Um, and that's actually the reason she had the C-section was because they were predicting that it was going to be a big baby. Um, so, I'm very excited to have my third nephew. Um, what else? What else was going on during the week? Um... Oh, I'm, I think I'm going to give you guys a body shot um, at the end of the video. I'm not, I haven't given a body shot yet. Um, but, and I don't know if this is even the best outfit to give you a body shot in. I am wearing leggings, so that's tight. And I'll try to pull my sweater tight. Um, just because, see how it's like baggy under here? It kind of makes me look a little schlumpy or something. Um, yeah. I'll give you the under 200 pounds body shot. Uh, I wanted to give a couple of quick shout outs um, just because um, just because I love them so much. Um, Lisa Bean, if you don't follow her, please do. Um, she spells her first name with one S, so it's L-I-S-A space and then B-I-E-N. So if you know Spanish, it's like bien, but it's Lisa Bean. And then... Um, Jen RNY for me. She is a fellow mass hole and I just love her videos. She seems like the sweetest person in the world to me. Um, and there are two pe two kinds of people that I like to watch on YouTube. People who seem like the genuinely nicest people in the world and then people who seem super nice but have an opinion and aren't afraid to voice it. Um, but do it respectfully. Those are the kind of people that I tend to like to watch on YouTube. So anyway, almost 14 minutes. Let me give you a quick body shot. And that is me. So, um, hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow with my food haul video. And if not, I will see you for Saturday sessions. Hope you guys have a great week.